When I proposed the theory of relativity, very few understood me. And what I will reveal now to transmit to mankind would also collide with the misunderstandings in the world. I ask you to guard the letters as long as necessary, years, decades, until the society is advanced enough to accept what I will explain now. There is an extremely powerful force that so far science has not found a formal explanation to it. It's a force that includes and governs all others and is even behind any phenomenon operating in the universe and has not yet been identified by us. This universal force is life. When scientists looked for a unified theory of the universe, they forgot the most powerful unseen force, love is light, that enlightens those who gives and receive it. Love is gravity because it makes some people feel attracted to others. Love is power because it multiplies the best we have and allows humanity not to be extinguished in their blind selfishness. Love unfolds and begins. For love, we live and die. Love is God, and God is love. This force explains everything and gives meaning to life. This is the variable that we have ignored for too long maybe because we are afraid of love, because it is the only energy in the universe that man has not learned to drive it at will. To give visibility to love, I made a simple substitution in my most famous equation. If instead of E equal MC2, we accept that the energy to heal the world can be obtained through love, multiplied by the speed of light, we arrive at the conclusion that love is the most powerful force there is because it has no limits. After the failure of humanity in the use of control and the other forces of the universe that have turned against us, it is urgent that we nourish ourselves with another kind of energy. If we want our species to survive, if we are to find meaning in life, if we want to save the world and every sentient being that inhabits it, love is the one and only answer. Perhaps we are not yet ready to make a bomb of love and a device powerful enough to entirely destroy the hate, selfishness and greed that devastate the planet. However, each individual carry within them a small but powerful generator of love whose energy is waiting to be released. This is what we are going to learn today. I will release this energy and open the center. This powerful energy that you have in the center of your chest, and you can contribute to the world to create a better world right here today, all together. When we learn to give and receive this universal energy, dear Lisa, we will have a faith that love that conquers all, is able to transcend everything and anything, because love is the quintessence of life. I deeply regret not having been able to express what is in my heart, which has quietly beaten for you all my life. Maybe it is too late to apologize, but that time is relative. I need to tell you that I love you, and thank to you, I have reached the ultimate answer. Your father, Albert Einstein.